let's start with the Bravo Bull. So it looks like um, four cast members from Vanderpump Rules have been fired. Like two of the main ones, uh, Kristen and Stassi. And then two other guys, two other losers who I like don't really know. Now, you watched Vanderpump Rules because... I saw the first season, that's it. Oh, okay, okay. And the reason why I saw the first season was because, okay, I'm in the service industry. It may look a little interesting to just see a reality show finally that set that takes place in that industry, but they all got rich, and now it's just fake. Um, they're pretty vapid. They're tone deaf as well, and there's no black people there. So it's just... It's just not my bag. It's just not. So when all of this hoopla happened, I'm not surprised. It was probably just tone deaf shit. I don't think they're racist. Well, the other ones, the oh. They're racist. They're they're ra like the statement, real racist, true, like beyond tone deaf. Like, you know, it's not like saying, oh, well, we want black lives to matter and, and police like it's not one of those. It's yeah. not whether, like you're stepping on yourself. It was like out and out foul statements on Twitter. And yeah, they, they deserve to get the fuck out of here. I didn't know those heifers had a line line, which has now been pulled from shelves. I mean, I'm sure it was cheap swill anyway. Uh, one of our um, supporters sent me an old clip of Stasi's podcast. And I'm just like, oh my God, like, she just does not get it. And all of a sudden, you know, people want to say Black Lives Matter now, but okay, this you, this you, this was you two mm. years ago? She was just like, I don't know why everything has to be about race. Everything's about race. Like, get over it. I'm just like, seriously? Get over it, okay. Well, I hope she'll get over poverty. Actually, she won't. She has no discernible job skills and her luck has officially run out. And like, she's supposed to be getting married soon too. Oh yeah, and she's lost her wedding special. I mean, she lost a good $500,000 this year alone. Cause those sponsors said, nope, we please. So let's talk about the ripple effect that that's, that's happened on the network. So Andy Cohen has been pretty much silent Lisa Vanderpump has been pretty much silent until I think the other day yesterday. Like um, Andy Cohen came out and saying, well, you know, like I agree with the firings. He's saying I have no control, no control over Vanderpump rules or who gets hired and who gets fired. I think the only thing he's over now is Housewives and his own show. Yep. Like he's no longer the president of Bravo. He got out of there real quick. Now, someone was saying, like, yeah, you can't, you don't maybe have, like, the um, jurisdiction to hire and fire, but it's not, let's not act like you, have, you don't have power at the network to talk to somebody. You know what I mean? Uh, if it's not your show, it's not your business. Well, yeah, but I'm just, I mean, someone brought up a point. I was just like, oh, okay, I can see that, too. I think that, like, whoever is now in his position doesn't want to be as famous as him. And so now he's got to deal with being the Bravo figurehead president. Right, he really is the face of the network. Yeah, exactly. or not. But usually the face has very little to do with the decisions. Yes. I now, could see Andy being like, okay, I've developed this show, but now he's given that shit over to other producers. He'll host the reunion. But I also feel like he is not, it's not like, you know, what he says goes. I think there's a whole lot of other network mucky mucks that are faceless and silent that get to do all the dirt in private. Now, with um, Lisa Vanderpump, she put out a statement yesterday. It was very all lives matter, not any part of it that Black Lives Matter, but she was saying that um, people say dumb things, I don't agree with it at all. We have a diverse staff at my restaurants. We just don't see them. Now, I went, I was in Vegas and I went to the new cocktail garden. I was the only black person in there to the point where I was just like, oof, goodness. Um, I'm the only black person in here. Like, I don't know, it's just. Like, the staff. Like, you know, diversity, I didn't see it, but I'm, 
okay, fine, Lisa. But yeah, it just seemed, it was a more so cover my ass statement. Like, I'm, I'm for human rights. I'm for everyone. I mean, girl, you're in West Hollywood. Like, you're in white gay central. You're in Bottomopolis. Let that be a dog that was, um, I don't know, a canine that was um, being abused by police. She would be up there mm-hmm. on the front lines, you know? Kyle and Ken. Kyle. Kyle. Yes. Lisa Vanderpump will definitely be back on Housewives of Beverly Hills now because I think her show is in trouble. I was talking to Erin from the chat about that, and she said the same thing. She said, that show ain't coming back. And they're calling for Jax and Brittany to be fired. And then it's like, well, child, there goes your cast. Like, that's six people that they're really, like, over right now, and that's the show. So I, I Wait, just... who's the sixth person? Um, Jax and Brittany. They've gotten rid of four, and people are saying they want to get rid of Jax and Brittany. Oh, for their past statements. Yeah, they can't do it without Jax. It's like you can't like you can't get rid of everybody and then have it a show. Unless mm-hmm. they got all new people so, and then tried to make it multi culty in, in West Hollywood and that ain't gonna fly. So this ripple effect has gotten to Nini as well. Mm-hmm. Have you seen that? I heard something about it, but please fill me in. Yes, um, it actually made Love be Scott. Let me just pull it up right quick. Because she's basically hinting at Andy Cohen to be let go as well. So Nene Leakes retweets call to fire Andy Cohen and accusations of systematic racism. So basically, Nene took to Twitter to share an article about Andy's comments following the firing of Vanderpump Rules stars. But her comments following that post indicate that she wants to see Andy fired too. Uh, She retweeted, like, change starts at the top, fire the face of Bravo. Whoa! Another fan replied, and Nini retweeted, I completely agree, change begins with Andy. He also retweeted a fan questioning why Andy was talking to fellow cast member Candy Burris and a few other shady things related to Bravo and accusations. So basically, in Andy's... um, statement he mentioned that he was talking to candy burris about things and you know that riled nini up like oh you're talking to her like i like the thing is nini i get it maybe andy has done something problematic but i think she's making it about her what do you think i don't i think she's using a situation to her benefit i agree i agree because you didn't have a problem before Nobody's had a problem before from Potomac or Atlanta, but now you want Andy fired. And she only had a problem with Kim, Grand Dragon. Mm, ooh, 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 exactly. Kim, oh, hey, sweetie, hey, you bitch. Like, she talked to her like anything. Like, she even insinuated Kim was a racist when she was on that last, on the last season she was on. Mm. So... Make it make sense. Like, is this like, you know... It can't be a delayed action. Oh, now that you've been making $2 million a year, now you've got a problem. Right. Um, what else in the Bravo news? Okay, so the only last thing I have is Real Housewives of Beverly Hills isn't coming back till July 8th. What? Yeah. That's why I was just like, okay, well, that's one show that I can't review now. It did real- it didn't come on last night? No. It's a rerun. Oh my God, they did. I guess they're doing the same thing with Married to Medicine. Yep, and they're doing it with Real Housewives of New York. That doesn't come back till July 2nd after this week. What? Yeah, so. What? They just, what, what the fuck? They're just pulling shows now? They're trying to stretch it out because they don't have no program. Oh, my God. So they're like, people are trying to try to go somewhere in June anyway, so we're just going to do reruns. So there's literally nothing new on television. Right. So. <laughs> I, you yeah. know what? I guess it's just going to, I guess I'm going to get into some old Beverly Hills, some old Jersey, some, yeah. it's going to be a Hulu marathon. Right. Oh, my God. But yeah, that's all that's going on at Bravo right now. 
and they just lost Vanderpump Rules. You well, mm, it might come back. It might come back because it makes too much money for the network. It's like their second or third highest rated program. It, depending on what goes on with the virus, it may or may not come back because if restaurants ain't open, well, you ain't got no show. That's a very good point. Or if you can only do takeout and have like two or three people that like, that really is going to depend on how soon we can get things back to normal. If it does come back, you know, Vanderpump's going to pander. They're going to have like three new black castmates. <laughs> Like I said, I think I want Candy Burris rules with OLG in Atlanta. That's what I want to see. I could see that too. I could see them dumping Vanderpump rules and doing it in Atlanta with Candy. Yeah. So, um, did you talk about Beast Simone? Because I did not know who that is. Oh, we. <laughs> B. Uh, Simone is a newly minted Instagram millionaire from selling AliExpress waist trainers, tees. Okay, because, you know, she was saying she's an entrepreneur. She needs a CEO. She don't have time for people with nine to fives. And my thing is, as an entrepreneur, as, as, as one entrepreneur to another, have a you know how all the hours we work, we need somebody with a set schedule. We both can't constantly be busy and working. Somebody's actually got to, you know, take care of the house. Yeah, without nine to fivers, there's no CEOs, you know? like Exactly. What if everybody wants to just be a CEO? Nobody will work for anybody. I don't know. It just, you can't downgrade somebody. I don't know. It just, it didn't rub me right the way she was talking about it. Like, who are you? And those crazy ass eyebrows and teeth, you know? <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? You are a 38 year old woman still, you know, shaving in the middle of your eyebrow. Like we're 19 in the early 2000s. And she came out with like a, um, I guess like a funny apology. She didn't apologize, but she was just like, I was talking about me. Like she was doing some weird type of uh. voice. Manifest, manifest. Like I just, oh God. Stop I mean, stupid people famous. Jesus. There are a lot of people who work nine to five, hell, who work ten to two that make insane money. Shit, <laughs> five to midnight. <laughs> but you're out here, you know, up early so you can do your drop shipping and your forex, and you think that somebody with a nine to five isn't going to understand? I think they will. I, I get emails at 3 a.m. Girl, you you the only person that check their emails at night? <laughs> And actually, the gag is the businesses that you deal with, that you advertise for, they run nine to five. So you only are getting your emails from nine to five, maybe, maybe as late as eight. But we get business emails. When do they come? They come during business hours. Yeah, nine to five. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the people that give us our ads, they work nine to five. So without nine to fivers, we wouldn't have ad deals. Right. And neither would she. What are they arguing about? I have no idea. Terrence J looks like he's on drugs. That's Terrence J. It's Terrence J and Marlon Wayans. Marlon Wayans looks good. Marlon Wayans is always Well, good. he always looked good. Marlon <laughs> and Sean. Mm. <laughs> but I don't know. I think he was trying to say that his family I don't know, like, I don't know why he brought up his family, you know, in a, in a, like a conversation they were trying to um, talk about. And, and what does Marlon need to get out of? I don't know. Like, was he trying, I thought, was he trying to say that he didn't get to where he was on his own without his family? I don't know, but I, I'm not sure what that was, but. Terrence J, we have not forgot how you crashed a two hundred thousand dollar car with a woman that wasn't your, you know, that wasn't your girlfriend. You said she was driving, and then the story just vanished. Hmm. I never even heard about it. Yeah, he crashed his car with a woman who wasn't his girlfriend at the time. Okay. So Nay -nay. he looked well, like he he on that stuff though. Like Kevin Hart and his story just vanish. Yes. 
except for that one heifer that will not stop suing for 60 million. She like, I'm gonna get something out your ass. <laughs> Getting blood from a stone. But, um, but B. Simone, like you did one season of Girls Cruise with Lil' Kim, and now you think you better than somebody with the nine to five. And the truth is, you must not be a very astute or observant entrepreneur to understand the times that we're living in and the value of having a partner with steady income. So that way, when things get a little lean for you, you have someone to lean on rather than someone who needs to lean on you. Reading the room is quintessential at these times. And also, girl, you was running up after the baby, so I don't really know about your choicing skills when it comes to picking men. You ain't got to, and, and the baby ain't never really claimed you. Like, he out here having babies with other effers. So you, ain't, you are out here without a whiff of a man talking about the men that you won't date. <laughs> you ain't got a whiff of a man, a piece of a man, a thought of a man. You ain't even got men in the DMs, apparently. <laughs> she thinks she's a prize. I, I don't know why. But okay. oh, oh. Hold on. oh, my God. Hold on. Hold on. You see, I, you see, you're going to say shit like I'm just going underwater. I can't even hear you anymore. I'm just. <laughs> Anywho. Um, while he's underwater, um, I, I have you. my own channel. Please go watch CDIGGI1. <laughs> the link is below. <laughs> Somebody else said that, that she thinks she's um, more desirable than she is. <laughs> yeah. I, I just, I don't know, I want her to go away. But she loved every minute of this, so she probably won't be. The man is lost. Terry Crews. I mean, we looked up to you. You were that guy. You had the old Spicer, the Gillette. Looked up? I don't know, but no, when, I have he was on everybody's, when he was on Everybody Hates Chris, his character. Okay. Um, also, we were all in his corner when he was like, um, you know, grabbed at the party by that man. Because there's a lot of people that wasn't on his side, but you know who was on his side? Black women, Gabrielle Union especially. Um, yeah, I don't know what's going on. I mean, it's like he can't... Lord, I just saw a prop plane. Um, oh. I was just like, what the fuck? Oh, oh I guess they still have those. Um, really, like, you came out, you were supported, you also knew what it was like for people to not believe you and say, well, you should have and you could have. So now... Why are you giving out the same shitty energy that you got to everybody else every chance you get? I mean, it, it, this is like, this is worse than mean to white people. Who was the one um, who said that? The, the quote, this is the quote that he said that just got everybody upset. Defeating white supremacy without white people creates black supremacy. Oh my God. Equality is the truth. And then once he got started to get lit up, he was like, any black person that calls me the C word, y'all know, rack, anyone who calls him ra a raccoon. <laughs> Can we say that? A raccoon? Raccoon. <laughs> and an Uncle Tom for promoting equality is a black supremacist. Now, black supremacist. I mean, that's so stupid it hurts. It does. It really does hurt because I think what he was trying to say is we can't get to um, racial equality without white people as well. Like white people need to speak up, not just black people okay. about racism. Okay. But, I, can, I get, but the bl black suppress, like. Right. I, I don't know. Ooh. Ew. You can't like. That's just like, like saying, like... How can, you, how can you say black supremacy when an agent can come up to you and grab your nuts? How can and you... And I do nothing. And you can't do shit, or you know you will lose everything you have. And Exactly. My it's crazy he didn't even realize that. I mean, like, all of this works. <laughs> literally, like, literally, someone came up to you and sexually violated you, and you're going to say black... <laughs> 
I just oh. and his co-star who it's was his stupid. son. It's too stupid. It's it's like Nene said in season three. Shut up! Shut up! Stop talking! You were so stupid. <laughs> And two of his friends tried to help him out. Like, everybody take a Chris actor. You can't save stupid. You can't. Mm -hmm. Stupid is going to find a way out. Stupid will find a way. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You said that out loud? You twote that? Somebody that you see, your wife should have been shut your Twitter down. Um, and it's online forever now, you know? And ever and ever and ever. It's, That's it's up there. About wigs and because I ain't gonna say nothing stupid, right? It's up there with um thought. Everybody has a stupid thought now and again. It's just about not articulating it, right? And I think <laughs> Ooh, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, I don't know what you was doing. What's not clicking, girl? <laughs> Get it together. I just wanted to say that I think it's right up there with um slavery as a choice, like that was said by another stupid person. Who shall not be named? Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, that is mind blowing. But you on. see, this is why I say I feel we should yield the platform to those who are truly informed on the issues, rather than, you know, people who pretend to be others for a living. Because they can pretend to be smart, but child, they get to open up their mouths, and you like, how did you even <laughs> learn your line? So whether you're at home or at the park, you know, you want to listen to what you're listening to, not what your neighbors are or your significant other or your badass kids. Every, everyone needs a great pair of wireless earbuds. But before you go dropping hundreds of dollars on a pair, you need to check out the wireless earbuds from Raycon. You already know Raycon earbuds start about at half the price of any other premium wireless earbuds on the market and that they sound just as amazing as other top audio brands you know. Now, their newest model, the Everyday E25 earbuds, are their best ones yet with six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, definitely need the bass, and more compact design that gives you a nice noise isolating Raycon, Raycon's wireless earbuds are so comfortable, perfect for conference calls or bringing podcasts. Now, seriously, they sent me these at a time that I really needed them. They are so comfortable. Like, they're really discreet, they're comfortable, and they do not ah! come off. They oh don't come off. Oh like, seriously, like, it's comfortable. <laughs> I forget they're in my head. So yeah, I love this color. They sent me my favorite color. Thank you, Raycon. Unlike some of your other wireless options, Raycon earbuds are both stylish and discreet, with no dangling wires or stems to distract anyone during video calls. You've heard us talk about how the company was co-founded by Ray J, and celebrities like Snoop Dogg and Cardi B are obsessed with Raycons. Pick up a pair and see what the hype is all about. Now is the time to get the latest and greatest from Raycon. Get 15% off your first order at buyraycon.com slash roast. That's buyraycon.com slash roast for 15% off Raycon wireless earbuds. Buyraycon.com slash roast. Why is Nicki Minaj making music with, with Takashi? It's like, wh why do you keep involving yourself with these people who have these charges, these, these accusations, these, these proven acts? Why do you surround yourself, I mean, and continue to surround yourself with, with failures? I don't think she has a great discernment of character. I think she's a piece of shit. <laughs> um... It, you can only be so unintelligent and so obtuse for so long. Like, you know, your brother, you can't control. The husband, girl. But now you're going to be like, well, let me go on and do something with Takashi 6 9 and get a trifecta going. Again. I think the and, FBI needs to investigate her. And she tried to say that, oh, well, a portion of our proceeds of this song is going to Black Lives Matter and the bailout funds and stuff like that. I'm like, okay. It's, Whatever helps you sleep at night. 
I mean, why couldn't you have done the song by yourself? Oh, because you're not good at doing songs by yourself. You always need someone else to prop you up because you're simply not that talented. She knows that he has a fan base that doesn't care what he does and will put his song up there on the top 10 in the chart. And then her fans are even crazier. So to combine, she's hoping for another number one. She doesn't care if it's with a, a sexual offender. Mm. She, she wants a number one at all costs. Now that's just low. That really, that, that is a low one. That is a low, that's a low being. <laughs> she is low life with a low fruit. Low fruit. Young, oh. Buck said that, Young Buck says that 50 Cent didn't want G Unit to be as big as him. I don't believe that. And here's why. If there's one thing 50 Cent loves, it's himself and money. And yes. if G-Unit was big, he would have cashed in because it was his label, they were his artists, y'all were lazy, y'all weren't as talented as you thought you were, and times changed and you couldn't change with them. He had been telling y'all to get on Instagram. Instead, here he is with vitamin water deals and a whole bunch of followers, and now he's got his whole TV shit going, and y'all are, well, you're not even check to check or gig to gig anymore because ain't no gigs, so ain't no checks. So now you want to sit around and be bitter with someone who actually applied themselves. Now, 50 Cent is a piece of shit human being. 50 Cent is a terrible father. 50 Cent is a skid mark. But the man makes money and decent television. I, I can't argue. I love power. Oh, I'll go back and do the Power Season 1 review. Because I never, I never did that. We're going to do a lot of old shit this month. Oh, uh, throwbacks? Throw, it's, it's throwback June, honey. Yeah, um, Stevie J and Faith Evans are working on it. They're working on their relationship. They're working on an eight ball. Ah, okay. He said, that's my wife and I love her. I'm not going anywhere. He doesn't have anywhere to go except the shelter. True. Please. Faith Evans and, you know, the biggie residuals is the best thing he got going. Mm-hmm. Uh, Iggy Azalea uh, reveals that she has a son. She gave birth recently. Um, she said that I have a son. I kept waiting for the right time to say something, but it feels like the more time passes, the more I realize I'm always going to feel anxious to share news that giant with the world. I want to keep his life private, but wanted to make it clear he is not a secret. I love him beyond words. <laughs> I didn't really care. That's I didn't, like, it's not a secret when we don't give a shit. Like, we stopped fucking with you, Iggy. We forgot all about you. Yeah, I was just like, oh, I, I just don't, I don't care, you know? I mean, you notice it's a secret of who the baby daddy is, though. But. Oh. No, I thought it was that guy that she was with, that rapper. Oh, I, I don't even know his name. I neither do I. Like there's there's just so damn many. But it just it just can't be a secret because we didn't really I'm not thinking about Evie Azalea, unfortunately, mm -hmm. you know, like she's her time has came and passed, you know, it came and went. It's like when Katy Perry has her baby, it's like, well, because it's Orlando Bloom's kid, we might give a little bit of a fuck, but mm -hmm. like you like you by yourself, nobody cares about that baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks like Joe Budden threw a little shade at Nicki Minaj. Um, he put, quote unquote, a portion of the proceeds, huh? LOL. He couldn't help himself. Uh, well, he can't help himself, and that's why I always look strung out. <laughs> Beyonce reportedly signing a $100 million deal with Disney and could include Black Panther sequel. I heard it was false. Like her agent, well, her rep just came out and said it's false. But I think she is going to be working with Disney. They probably just got the number wrong. Mm. But I hope she's not in Black Panther. God, I hope she's not. I just... Really? Works, fine. I rather prefer... I prefer Kendrick to do it because he did such a good job with the first album. Mm. I don't know. I just think I love my girl, but I just think she will be a distraction, you know? 
like she was with the Lion King. Are you yeah, with the lions? It wasn't even about the Lion King anymore. It was about, oh, where's, where's Beyonce? Beyonce? <laughs> Beyonce? Do you want to fix your lighting or you don't care? I can't fix it. <laughs> okay. It's like I'm talking to a shadow. I, I didn't know. I like We started good and then I turned into a shadow. So, I enjoyed the last episode of Insecure. Do you have any predictions of the finale? It's going to be disappointing. You think? Well, I think they're going to give us a cliffhanger until next season. We're not going to know what's going on. with. It's just the, the fact that we're back to square fucking one with Issa and Lawrence again. It's like, I would much rather it be Issa, like, is she going to go with Lawrence or is she not? Or is Lawrence going to stay? And, you know, now that Issa's on this career, it seems like she's going to have to stay. So then it's going to be about, well, what's Lawrence going to do? And I just, mm-hmm. then the whole thing with my, I, like, I've enjoyed it, but I just feel like if we had like another 12 episodes, I'd like to see where it's going. But I don't feel like waiting until fucking next year. I don't. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm tired of, like, I don't feel like I got a story this season, and that's the same way I've been feeling for the past four years. <laughs> I'm sick of it. I think that um, Andrew's going to break up with Molly. Molly's yeah. going to feel very alone at the end of the season, which is going to cause her to miss Issa, because she's going to have nobody to talk about it with. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, think, I think Issa's going to choose Nathan, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I just think Lawrence is definitely going to get the job in San Francisco. Issa choosing Nathan, that would be, that would be cute. That would be cute. I, who would, who would you choose? Uh, well, people, I mean, if it's Lawrence, I mean, people love that familiarity, that they've been together for five years, you know, like that person already knows you. That's like not that much work you got to do. And then, you know, there's risk being with someone with mental health issues. Mm. Can I say that? I mean, it's it's a fact. It's, true. it's a fact. I mean, I just don't want to offend anybody, but it's you not a thing. It's time. a real decision when you're thinking about being in a relationship. Like, you know, he did go ghost, and it's like you do have to worry. Like, okay, are you going to? How well do you have a handle on? Right. Um, also, one of my just qualms with the show is like, where are the other supporting cast members? Like, oh God! Like, re- like we had. Well, I mean, I can't say I miss Amanda, but we really could use Amanda's a- only been on three episodes. It feels like. Uh huh. So she probably made about fifteen hundred for the season, but you said she wasn't afraid to be broke. Mm hmm. Jesus. Okay. Anywho. I saw the interview, by the way. Um, that was a long ass fucking interview. An I hour and thirty eight minutes. I saw all of it. Why? I don't know. Like they were talking. I w- I was just curious. You know, she's blocked me, so I was just curious to hear, hear her mindset. But Jason Lee is very um. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? He's in love with himself, and he loves to just. <sighs> He brought up his book. He likes to bring up his accomplishments. I think they're both kind of like self-serving narcissists, but it is what it is. See, I love me, and I love me very much. But when I get on camera, I realize, child, don't nobody want to hear about this shit, that shit. You better talk about Nene and her antlers and get these people laughing. <laughs> The hell, I mean, that was really a moment for her to shine. And she wanted to say, I'm a comedian first. Where were the jokes? (laughs) Where are the jokes? (laughs) There were no jokes in that interview. I did not laugh once. For 38 minutes, she was as dry as her hair. (laughs) She did have a couple gems. She said there's an eruption of consciousness. I love, I like that. please, she got that shit from the New York Times. Lying heifer. It's going to be very interesting. Um, I'm pretty sure. She says she's cool with Issa, so I'm pretty sure we'll see. 
she's cool with Issa, then why was she on three episodes out of 10? We haven't seen her write an episode. We haven't seen her direct an episode. Yeah, it seems like almost all the cast have had their hands in different pots, you know? Except for Amanda. Because they want her out of their kitchen. <laughs> I wonder if Issa regrets uh, casting her. Deeply. <laughs> She doesn't really bother me that more because I don't really see her opinions or anything. But I think she's going to regret giving up that job. But she was very proud of walking away. She's always proud of the wrong things. But, you know, that's why she is where she is in her career, which is next to nowhere. <laughs> next topic. I'm looking forward to the season finale. Oh, that's going to be the only new thing on this week. So I really, like, because I was, like, going to do Beverly oh. Hills after this, and I'm like, so I have no Beverly Hills to do. Beverly Hills did not come on last night. I can't compute. New York is coming on tonight, I believe. It's a new, it's a new episode. It, it's a cliffhanger episode because Tinsley goes to Chicago, and this might be her last episode. Okay. I think. But um, what else? Um, Somebody All-Stars 5 was really good. I enjoyed it. Mm. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> okay. Next topic. I just, the, the show has just gotten too formulaic. I just, I mean, since ain't shit else on, I might go on and, and I, I, I'd rather do old reruns. <laughs> I would I, I do understand. old housewives. Child. I have tried to find a fuck, honey. I done flown all the way across the country. I'm looking in the pool. Can't see a fuck in here. I just, I, I, you know what, may, it's just, maybe it's the whole thing with Shangela. Maybe it's just too many disappointing finales where they get it wrong and I'm just over it. Mm -hmm. I, I would say that maybe I'm just tired of seeing queens of color ex succeed and exceed expectations only to, you know, deal with shitty pageant practices well, at the hands of Mama Rue. Well, Jada Essence Hall did win season 12, and Shea kool is the front runner, so we might have two Black queens in a row. I will, this season, I feel like that, like, I feel like this season just got fucked. So I, I don't feel that it's at, like, she didn't get the, the watch parties at the bars and all of that. Like how, like, I feel bad for this. And then the whole Sherry Pie shit, like this mm -hmm. was a season that was tainted. Right, tainted. It just sounds so dirty, tainted. Well, that's what it is. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you something, Um, just, Right quick, back to Insecure. You know the, the, um, the brunch shop that um, they met up at? Uh-huh. I've been there before. I, was in, I, was on, I went to uh, L.A., and I went on a, a small date with somebody. Very fine gentleman, but, um, yeah, he was, like, slow as hell. And I was like, I, I, I nicknamed him Molasses Babe because he was, he was sweet, but he was slow as hell. Oh, my God. And, and it was just so weird. He was drinking piping hot coffee through a mini straw. I, it just, I know some people drink coffee through straws, but it kind of just, it was distracting. <laughs> Anywho, I just wanted to throw it out there because I was just like, is that normal? Because I don't drink coffee, but piping I, hot coffee in a mug with a straw? I I don't drink coffee either. I don't drink hot drinks unless I'm not feeling well. Okay, I don't know. It it, it threw me for a loop. Like <laughs> I guess, I mean I guess I could do like a cup of tea or something, but that's usually like like if I'm drinking tea, I'm drinking it for something. Right. Okay. Anywho, that was just my little story. I was just like, oh yeah, I've been there before. Andre three thousand returns to social media after two years. I had no Unless you getting on. back with Big Boy and gonna come up with an album, shut up. <laughs> I love Andre 3000. I, I didn't even know he was back or tweeted anything. Unless he's inviting me to dinner, he needs to shut up. Ugh. Ooh, 
Faith Stowers is now mulling a lawsuit over the Vanderpump Rules false allegations. Oh, they are going to have to pay through the nose. Uh, I mean, put all these people on blast. I mean, I'm here for it. Oh, God, now her podcast is gone. Ooh. Oh, Ooh, her wow. podcast is gone? Yep. Oh, my God. I thought that was the one thing she had left. Yes, yeah, see, it's been dropped from all major platforms after she was fired. Oh, Radio.com released a statement saying we learned of the racially charged inappropriate actions. It was that calling the police shit. Um, it really was. In light, of, in light of this, Radio.com has made the decision to part ways. And shout out to New York. Um, they're going to make it a hate crime for uh, falsely calling the police on a person of color. Yeah, and I think it's going to be called Karen's Law. Or the Amy Cooper law. That, that's what I meant, the Amy Cooper law. I thought her name was Karen. Um, well, she is a Karen. She is a Karen. But yeah, Apple, Spot Apple, Spotify, and Stitcher have wiped the show from their archives. Oh my goodness. I mean, it's not like, I mean, she was a mediocre white woman to begin with. And she gonna find out exactly how mediocre she is now. <laughs> Ooh. The Wendy Williams show was renewed amidst its hiatus. Oh, God. According to, who? I, according to page six. Jesus. They need green. to let that woman get some rest. Like, I, like, for her own health. Like, no. Do a podcast. Just no. I'm tired of it. It's, it's disgusting at this point. Debmar Mercury are pieces of shit. <laughs> keeping that sick woman working. She's not well. I'm not even making fun of it. The woman isn't well, and it's, it's time to end it. Jesus. It is. I mean, come on. I'm not making this shit up. The show definitely needs an audience. I think her intentions are well. I think um, the people around her need work. I think, um, uh, what else? I think she's capable. You think she's capable? I think she's capable. I mean, I, I, I just don't think that she's capable without an audience. And that infernal laugh track that they added, like, who the fuck idea was that? I don't know. Caitlyn Jenner, who was a lifelong Republican, reveals that she is now economically conservative and socially progressive. But she's ugly as fuck. I've changed my thinking in a lot of ways. And I love my community. I truly want to help. Well, you've got a whole lot of money, so start spending it. <laughs> and also put a few thousand more towards a new face because the rest of your family's walking around with brand new heads and you're sitting here with, you know, something that looks used. Like you went to the used face bin and picked one out. They went and got brand spanking new. You need to get a showroom new head. Your daughters are doing it, why don't you? My goodness, walking around looking like a handbag from 1983. Oh goodness, the Grammys are changing the name of a category. What was it? Uh, it's it's gonna be progressive R&B from progressive. urban contemporary? Yeah. Um, I'm indifferent. I mean, what's the Grammys real problem is there there's hardly any black people like that are on the voting board. And that's why we keep having issues of black people trying to win the top prizes of the night. And I think they also need more categories. Yeah, but it's, it's just crazy how a black girl that sings, like she can have a guitar, R&B, you know, like we, we can be in any category, but if it's a black girl, and a uh, white girl, and they have a guitar, and doing the same song, that girl's gonna be putting the R&B. And the white girl can be pop or country or R&B. Right. A judge bans Little Fizz from being near April and, or April and Omarion's kids. What? <laughs> All right, well, we will see you sooner than Little Fizz sees a win. We'll see you sooner than Terry Crews' new relevance. <laughs>